Poppy Mint Studio. Radio telescopes is a specialized antenna and radio receiver used to receive radio waves from astronomical radio sources in the sky. And in today's video, the largest radio telescope observatories in the world. The Ohio State University Radio Observatory was a Krauss-type radio telescope located on the grounds of the Perkins Observatory at Ohio Wesleyan University from 1963 to 1998. Known as Big Ear, the observatory was part of Ohio State University's Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence project. Construction of the Big Ear began in 1956 and was completed in 1961, and it was finally turned on for the first time in 1963. In 1977, the Big Ear recorded an unusual and apparently extraterrestrial radio signal, which became known as the WOW signal. The observation would prove to be unique, since no similar signals were ever detected afterwards. In 1995, the Big Ear was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records under the category of Longest Extraterrestrial Search. The Laville Telescope, or the 250 Feet Telescope, a radio telescope at Jodrell Bank Observatory, near Goose Street, Cheshire in the northwest of England, is one of the largest steerable dish radio telescope in the world at 250 feet in diameter, constructed from 1952 to 1957. The telescope was used to receive messages bounced off the moon as part of the 50th anniversary First Move Festival. In April 1961, a radar echo from Venus was achieved using the telescope while the planet was at a close approach, confirming measurements of the distance of the planet made by American telescopes. The Effelsberg 100-meter telescope is a radio telescope and a parabolic reflector in the Arhill and Bad Munster field, Germany. It was constructed from 1968 to 1971 and inaugurated in 1972. Operated by the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy in Bonn, the Radio Astronomy Institute of the Max Planck Gesellschaft. For 29 years the Effelsberg Radio Telescope was the largest fully steerable radio telescope on Earth. In 2000, it was surpassed by the Green Bank Observatories of the United States. The Robert C. Byrd, Green Bank Telescope or GBT in Green Bank, West Virginia, is the world's largest fully steerable radio telescope. The Green Bank site was part of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory until September 30, 2016. Since October 1, 2016, the telescope has been operated by the independent Green Bank Observatory. Constructed from 1991 to 2000, the telescope's name honors the late Senator Robert C. Byrd who represented West Virginia and who pushed the funding of the telescope through Congress. In 2002, astronomers detected three new millisecond pulsars in the globular cluster Messier 62. In 2006, several discoveries were announced, including a large coil-shaped magnetic field in the Orion molecular cloud and a large hydrogen gas superbubble 23,000 light years away, named the Ophiuchus super Superbubble. The Square Kilometer Array is an intergovernmental radio telescope project being planned to be built in Australia and South Africa. Conceived in the 1990s, and further developed and designed by the late 2010 onwards, if built it will have a total collecting area of approximately one square kilometer sometime in the 2020s. It would operate over a wide range of frequencies and its size would make it 50 times more sensitive than any other radio instrument. The headquarters of the project are located at the Jodrell Bank Observatory in the UK. On March 12, 2019, the Square Kilometre Array Observatory Consortium was founded in Rome by seven initial member countries, with several others expected to join in the future. This international organization is tasked with building and operating the facility, with the first construction contracts scheduled to be awarded in late 2020.
the Atacama Large Millimeter, Submillimeter Array or ALMA, is an astronomical interferometer of 66 radio telescopes in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile, which observe electromagnetic radiation at millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths. The array has been constructed on the 5,000 meters elevation Chajnanter Plateau, near the Lano de Chajnanter Observatory and the Atacama Pathfinder Experiment. This location was chosen for its high elevation and low humidity, factors which are crucial to reduce noise and decrease signal attenuation due to Earth's atmosphere. ALMA is expected to provide insight on star birth during the early Stelliferous era and detailed imaging of local star and planet formation. ALMA was initially a 50-50 collaboration between the National Radio Astronomy Observatory and European Southern Observatory and later extended with the help of the other Japanese, Taiwanese, and Chilean partners. ALMA is the largest and most expensive ground-based astronomical project, costing between 1.4 billion US dollars and 1.5 billion. The Carl G. Jansky, Very Large Array Radio Telescopes, is a centimeter wavelength radio astronomy observatory, located in central New Mexico on the plains of San Agustin. The VLA comprises, 28 25-meter radio telescopes, 27 of which are operational, while one is always rotating, through maintenance, deployed in Y-shaped or A and all the equipment, instrumentation, and computing power to function as an interferometer. Constructed from 1973 to 1980. Astronomers using the VLA have made key observations of black holes and protoplanetary disks around young stars, discovered magnetic filaments, and traced complex gas motions at the Milky Way Center. The RATAD 600, an acronym for the Academy of Sciences Radio Telescope 600, is a radio telescope in Zelenchakskaya, Russia. It comprises a 576 meters diameter circle of rectangular radio reflectors and a set of secondary reflectors and receivers, based at an altitude of 970 meters. Each of the 895 2x7.4 meters reflectors can be angled to reflect incoming radio waves towards a central conical secondary mirror, or to one of five parabolic cylinders. Each secondary reflector is combined with an instrumentation cabin containing various receivers and instruments. The overall effect is that of a partially steerable antenna with a maximum resolving power of a nearly 600 meters diameter dish, when using the central conical receiver, making it the largest diameter individual radio telescope in the world. It was constructed from 1968 to 1974. Its main function is for astronomical research for the Russian scientists. The Arecibo Observatory is a radio telescope in Puerto Rico. As of 2018, the observatory is operated by University of Central Florida, Yang Enterprises in UMAP, under cooperative agreement with the U.S. National Science Foundation. The observatory is the sole facility of the National Astronomy and Aonosphere Center, which is the formal name of the observatory. From its construction in the 1960s until 2011, the observatory was managed by Cornell University. The observatory is the first biggest radio telescope in the world, with the area of almost 48 hectares. Its main function is for astronomy, radio waves from outer space, spherical reflector and even used as a radar equipment for the U.S. military. The 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, nicknamed Chan Yan, or the Eye of the Sky, is a radio telescope located in a natural basin in, Pingtang County, Guizhou, southwest China. It consists of a fixed 500 meters diameter dish constructed in a natural depression in the landscape. It is the world's largest filled aperture radio telescope, and the second largest single dish aperture after the sparsely filled, Rotan 600 of Russia. And that's all for now, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.